Hello, eighth graders. Um, we are here to talk about next school year as you come into Waynesboro High School. Uh, so we have uh, a few things to talk about um, uh, to get you ready. So today we will talk about who we are in the counseling office and uh, the high school, what to expect in high school, and then also classes for next year and how you're going to choose your electives for next year. Hi, my name is Mrs. Turner. If your last name is from A through G, I am your school counselor. And I'm Mr. Bailey. I have students H through O and T. Hi, everybody. I'm Mrs. Watson. I have students with last names P through S and U through Z. So basically the end of the alphabet, unless you're a T and then you have Mr. Bailey. Uh, we have other people we'd like to introduce you to in our office. Ms. Rosenfeld is our college advisor. She can help you as you are uh, approaching junior and senior year to explore options after high school. Mrs. Wood is our career coach. So she works here full time. She helps our students with career planning and exploration. Uh, she comes into ninth and 10th grade classes to do that. She also works a lot with our 11th and 12th graders to get you ready for uh, Blue Ridge or other workforce and college programs. We also have in our office, Ms. Staten, who's our bilingual family liaison. She's here to help students who are new to Waynesboro, um, who might speak multiple languages and, and need assistance accessing resources or needing somebody to help them at school. Uh, so she's a good person. You might have seen her around Kate Collins as well. And then we also have Mrs. Griffith, who is our registrar and our secretary. So when you come into the counseling office at the high school, she's the first person who you will see, um, and she'll greet you and uh, help you out and get you checked in so that you can talk to somebody in our office um, that you need to talk with. So let's talk about a few reasons to see your school counselor. So first of all, we also help with academic concerns. So if you might need any advising in terms of what classes to take, um, also what grades you might have and any concerns with that. If there's also any conflict with any teachers, also what, um, how you're doing in terms of your graduation progress. And then also life after high school. So um, think if you're thinking about college or if you're thinking about careers. And then also in terms of social and personal concerns, like if you're having any difficulty with any peers at school, um, if there's anything going on at home with family, um, or if there are um, any unstable or unsafe situations, losses of a loved one, um, if you may be having any anxiety or panic attacks, any issues with substance abuse, or any thoughts of self-harm. And then, you know, there uh, is also some questions about, you know, why high school is so important. Um, so everything in, in counts in high school, even PE. Um, in high school, you have to pass all of your classes, um, well, at least five classes to move on to the next grade. So don't do just the minimum, do it well. And um, also you can work towards your uh, diploma. So we've got advanced and standard diplomas. So the differences between these diplomas, uh, the regular high school diploma is called a standard diploma. That's the one most of our students are pursuing. The advanced diploma is usually for a student who knows they want to go straight to a four-year college. And if you'll look at the numbers in the columns, you'll see a lot more numbers on the advanced diploma side. That diploma requires an extra year of social studies, math, science, and three years of a world language. The credits required is 22 for the standard diploma and 26 credits for the advanced diploma. Both diplomas require the same number of SOLs. It's five SOLs in high school to graduate, two in the English department, reading and writing, then one math, one science, and one history.
Here we have a sample schedule of what you might have as a ninth grader. As a ninth grader, you're required to take a math, science, history, English, and PE class. So that's already five required courses. You have room for three electives. If you're doing the advanced diploma, we definitely recommend you get started on your world languages. So this student, just looking at their schedule with the Spanish on there, I can tell this student is planning to go towards the advanced diploma. We try to balance your schedule out. So each semester you have just two academic or we call them core academic classes in high school. So for example, this student is going to have two core first semester, which is math and English, and the two core for second semester are the science and, and history classes. So when you have a chance to look at all the, the choices for electives, we're gonna ask for a lot of choices. We try to put you in your top three, but we also need some backup choices just in case something doesn't fit in your schedule. Because sometimes it's very challenging to fit all of these classes in, in your schedule correctly. And I'll add for the core classes, the academics, your teachers right now in eighth grade have been making recommendations for your level for next year. Um, so that would look something like, are you in an algebra one part one um, and, or an algebra one for just one semester um, or an English or an English honors class? Um, so they're making those recommendations and we'll be sending out information on how you can see that uh, coming up uh, shortly. So this sounds kind of overwhelming to a lot of people. So you might be wondering, how am I going to make it through all that? Um, so, um, you know, in terms of academic support, there are some people that you can ask for help. Um, they can be your teachers. Um, you can um, ask them to um, give you some help, like um, after school, perhaps, and ask when they're available. And also be sure to thank them for the time that they spend with you. And then also peers. Sometimes, um, you know, if you're not understanding something, uh, you could ask a friend who's taking the same class as you. Perhaps you could study together. And then also um, your parents or older siblings, um, especially if they've taken some of these classes before. And, you know, there are other people um, as well, including like coaches or pastors. And then um, in case of you didn't know, you know, teachers, they want you to succeed. They don't want to give you bad grades. So sometimes they're willing to meet with you before or after school, um, but at the same time, they're not mind readers. So if you're having a question or concern about something that's going on in class, um, just talk to them and let them know whatever your concern is. And in addition, you can also come to one of us school counselors um, because if you're having difficulty learning for whatever reason, we can talk with you guys about different solutions and strategies to help you with those issues. We have some more people to help as well that we wanna make sure you know um, who they are as you come into Waynesboro High School. Um, first one is Mr. Stam. He's our principal. Um, he's very active in the school. You'll see him around everywhere. Um, open door policy. So you, if, if you need him, you can come into um, the administration office and ask to see him. Um, he has um, two assistant principals. One of them it will be Ms. Lassiter, who you all probably know pretty well by now from the middle school. She is also graduating from Kate Collins and is coming up to the high school with you next year. Uh, we also have Mrs. Ford. She's another assistant principal in the office. And Mr. Major, he is our athletic director and assistant principal. So you'll see him. He's a good person if you're trying to um, get active and uh, be involved with athletics and you're not sure if you're eligible for for athletics, you can see him um, and, and talk with him about the opportunities that are happening with athletics. Now we're gonna to talk to you about all the elective choices that you have in high school. So the, in the first department under math, we have computer science, and this is only for students who have already completed algebra one. So if you are not currently in algebra one this year, please do not sign up for this 
class yet, you can take it later in high school because it does require some good foundation skills in math, but you're gonna learn about how the computers work and about coding and programming. Um, next, you can also choose um, what are called the career and technical education classes or CTE. And these are not um, your traditional home economics classes that a lot of um, students have taken in the past. We have a variety of things. So if you like to build and um, work with your hands, we've got technology foundations and building trades. Um, and technology transfer, which is part two of technology foundations. Um, and then we've got uh, classes if you are interested in designing things on the computer and working on computers, such as digital applications um, and multimedia and design, um, which is part two of digital applications. Next, we also have um, a class called Intro to Health and Medical Science. So if you are possibly interested in a medical career, this might be a class you'd want to take. And then we also have um, some other classes called independent living and individual development, where you learn about, you know, how to be uh, more independent as an adult, um, how to deal with uh, relationships um, and deal with peers. Um, and then we also have a class called plant and animal science, where you learn about um, how plants and animals um, are and also um, you might learn also how to grow uh, plants and take care of animals. And then also we have principles of business and marketing. If you are thinking of learning about how businesses work or starting a business later on. Now for the arts and humanities department, we have art and crafts, which are some of our most popular classes. Both of those classes start off the first six weeks. You're learning about the elements of drawing and design. So they are very similar at the beginning, but then in art class, you're just going to do drawing, painting, sketching, using different mediums. In crafts, you're going to draw a design and then you're going to make a three-dimensional craft project. And these projects might be throwing a pot. So you're doing pottery a shadow box, jewelry, Christmas ornaments, and my favorite are the yarn paintings. They are fantastic. I love walking down the hall and seeing the yarn paintings on display from the craft students. Photography, just like it sounds, you're learning how to take that fantastic picture of your friends or a selfie, learning how to develop photography. Their artwork is also on display in the hallways. The next two classes have to do with writing if you really enjoy writing. So our creative writing class, you have a lot of liberty to write about topics that you enjoy. The class covers different genres. So one week you might be doing a mystery, the next week a poem, um, and the following week you might be doing a comedy. And in this class, um, there's a lot of peer review where you're sharing your work with other students and giving your feedback to your, your peers. In the journalism class, acts just like a school newspaper. We do have a school newspaper that's online. So everybody in the class has a specific job, like you could even be the editor of the journalism class at some point if you've taken journalism for a couple of years. Our theater class, just like you would imagine, is all about acting, drama, but you're also learning about behind the scenes, how to do staging and lighting. Taking this class does not mean that you have to be in one of our drama productions because all of our plays or musicals or by audition only, but you could be in the theater class and not have to be in those productions. Maybe you just wanna help backstage, but this is a really fun class. And then the next three classes are all in our choir department. The Unified Chorus is open to anyone. The Giant Sensations class is open to eighth, I mean, to, sorry, to ninth and 10th graders, but you do have to audition with Mr. Ryman for that um, class. And the Lyrica Bellas is just for females. That is also by audition only. The next one we have is band. Um, in high school, if you're a band student, it's assumed that you've already had experience in band through middle school and that you already know how to play an instrument. Music appreciation class is open to anyone. This is a class where you learn about different musicians through the eras, different eras, different genres of music. 
you might research a musician and then share what you've learned with the class about the musician and their music. And the last one in this department is the mythology class taught by our Latin teacher. And this, just like the name says, you're gonna learn all about the Greek and Roman gods and mythology. Next, our world languages. We have a variety of world languages you can sign up for. We have Latin, Spanish, Spanish for native speakers, French, and American Sign Language. So let's talk about your next steps. Um, you're going to receive a link with the Google form um, that, and go over it with um, parents and guardians and fill out each section. And keep in mind that um, you need to have certain classes that um, are called prerequisites, classes you have to take and pass before you are allowed to be in um, that next class. And then think about you know, the electives that you want to do and contact us if you have any questions or want to make an appointment with your counselor. Choose wisely.